Hey, what's up? I'm out here foraging or trying to in the rain, but uh, I'm getting ate up by deer flies. And I found a bunch of yarrow growing out in the field here, so I thought I would uh, give it a try as a bug repellent because I hear that uh, I hear that yarrow acts as a bug repellent so I want to try it out and see if it actually works so I stuck a sprig of it behind each ear and uh, the deer flies actually quit getting in my hair after I put these sprigs behind each ear here and it probably looks a little bit goofy but it's kind of just me out here fooling around you know trying new things and just to see if it if the stuff you hear online actually works and uh, it seems to actually help a little bit um, they're still buzzing my head but they're not landing on me and before I put the sprigs of yarrow behind each ear uh, they were digging down into my hair I had like five or six of them in my hair I put the sprigs in there and they left and they just started buzzing me and they quit landing on me so there may be some truth to the yarrow as a bug repellent Deer flies in Michigan are pretty horrendous, and uh, anything that would even keep them at bay, possibly 10%, would be good in my book because uh, they can make it near impossible to get out and enjoy the woods and fields in the summertime. But this yarrow looks quite a bit different than the domestic stuff that I showed you in one of my other videos. Um, it's smaller for one, it only gets about a foot tall and it only sends up these little shoots as far as I can tell. And uh, it doesn't have near the strong smell as the domestic yarrow. So I think what I might do is get some of the domestic yarrow that's growing in my flower bed and uh, try it as a bug repellent and see if it actually does uh, work, at least to some extent. But I figured I'd share that with you. Might be something you want to try if you're out in the woods, mainly in the fields in the summertime, getting ate up by uh, deer flies. You might want to try some of this. I took some of the domestic yarrow. Uh, we have uh, box elders in our yard, so we have tons of box elder beetles. And I crushed up the leaf and I placed it down uh, in an area where the box elder beetles uh, like to uh, congregate and they immediately scattered and they have never been back to that spot since so maybe there's some truth to that maybe it is a bug repellent at least to some extent but I'm just out here trying to find some wild edibles and not having a whole lot of luck really we've had a real dry summer and there's just not a whole lot going on. I usually do pretty good with the summer mushrooms, boletes and chanterelles and a few others. And uh, this year's just been horrible because we haven't had enough rain. But it did cool off. I mean, we, it's been so hot and humid. I mean, we've been having over 90 degree temps with 70 to what feels like 100% humidity. And, some days it's hard to breathe, let alone get out and uh, do any stomping in the woods. But I uh, did manage to get out today. It's drizzling. It's kind of drizzling on and off. We had a bit of a thunderstorm last night. and These clouds are keeping the sun at bay, so it feels pretty nice. The mosquitoes are down. I'm not getting attacked by mosquitoes. Just uh, whenever I hit these fields, the deer flies assault me. And that yarrow seems to be helping a little bit with that but I'm gonna go on to another spot and see if I can't find some uh, chanterelles or possibly some other wild edibles and if I do I'll share that with you but until then I'll talk to you later
So here's that yarrow. It grows all over this field. I'm just gonna gather up a few of these sprigs before I head off to my next location. Because if it does act as a bug repellent, I wanna have some with me. Because I know I'm gonna need it where I'm going. That should be enough. 